If dad slays, I don't slay too often, but sometimes I slay. I feel like only like, lately, I feel like only guys slay like. I ate it up and left nothing for the dog. Damn, slow that bit down, Zoe. Maybe the Riz King, and I always call him the Riz King. Who? <laughs> is Ryan Gosling. You got a point, bro. Ryan Gosling, all the girls. Bro, I literally think, like, comparing, like, Duke Dennis to Ryan Gosling, I think it might be an equal run right there. I mean, one is one color and the other is the other color, but, like, if it was, like, if girls had to choose, like, all the black women are always going to go for Duke Dennis, and all the white women are always going to go for Ryan Rowling. It's, ooh. What's his name again? Always call him the Riz King. <laughs> Is Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. I'm so sorry. That was very disrespectful of me. Very disrespectful. I'm sorry. That was... That, I'm sorry. Sometimes I just call him Riz Gosling. A lot of the things I'm going to say... That makes sense. Make no sense. We're going to mother this up. Slay! I ate it up and left nothing for the dog. What? What? Did... Ha! Like, what? You ate what up and left who for the dog? How dare you <laughs> criticize my interpretation of that word? Yeah, so why I'll did read you... out a, a list of Gen Z words. Why did you use okay. it like that? You just have to guess what they mean. Mm -hmm. uh, you can ask for me to use them in a sentence for you to help sure. you out. Um, okay. Yeah, that's, that's it. I'm going to Let's be go. really good at this. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm telling you. Let's I'm do it. I'm nail it. Starting Let's go, Steve Carroll. What does slay mean? Slay? Well, uh, me. <laughs> Come on, man. I slay every day. I slay. I just be slaying. Um, dressed and impressed. Slay. Like, bad, bad energy. You feel me? I give that. I'm sorry. I, I, it's not that I try to give off bad energy. It's just the fact that I am bad energy. It's me. Well, slay, slay means to succeed at a very high level. I know that one. Yeah. What? That is, yeah, that's exactly right. A word to describe someone who has done something very well. And in terms of how you say it, like my daughter would say, like if I, say, say I came downstairs dressed for an event or something and she thought I looked good, she'd, she'd say, slay. I just said that. I just said that. So, nice. Yeah. That's kind of like the, the ultimate compliment. Yes. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. If dad slays, I don't slay too often, but sometimes I slay. I feel like only like lately, I feel like only guys slay like girls be slaying, but it's just like lately guys be slaying. Like they use the term towards guys, like, oh my god, you're slaying. Like I my homeboy would call me slaying, but I would say, Hey bro, you slaying today, bro, for real. Real talk. And I'm very happy that I slayed. Can we stop now? Yeah. <laughs> Next one. Well done. Okay. What does mother mean? Mother. My mom. Mo and how the the smell the smell, the spelling of that. M O T H E R. Oh, mother. Okay. Mother. On its surface, you would think that it means the you know, the mother of a child. But yeah. For Gen Z. What does that mean? Mother, means. Mother is a kind of topping you put on a hamburger. <laughs> what? And you can use it in different ways. We're gonna mother this up. It's a it's a special kind. Of no way. Are you? They they be saying that? Mother, we're gonna mother this thing up. Oh my gosh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> kind of I don't know. It's, I think it's ketchup, uh, mayonnaise, and a little hot sauce. Let's what? light this mother up. Extra mother. Extra. <laughs> what? Could I have some? I'd like cheese and extra mother. But you can also pronounce it extra mother, mother what? Like with an A. Mother it up. Is mother that right? what? Uh, that's I'm not lost. What I've got. Uh, so it basically means an iconic female figure. So they are the ultimate mother. What? Kristen Wiig. Oh, she's hey, so mother. he was she's using so it in a mother. good way, though. I think that's, I mean, that's on its surface, yes. It means, like, as I oh said to begin God. with, it's like the, the, the female parental, what? you know, traditional 
Yes. No. Maybe that's Gen P. Gen P. That right there, but I he was using it so correctly is what really got me like mother. Like, whoa, we're gonna mother this thing up. You feel me? And then she's talking about, well, she means mother, like mom, like what? Okay. Refers to it as a Oh topic. man. What does Riz mean? Riz? Duke R -I -Z. Dennis. Oh, it means Duke Dennis. R I Z Z. Duke Dennis, oh, Carson Act. Like that's the what that Riz means. that I know is R I Z. Which huh? me, it, which is the sound that rollerblades make when you stop. <laughs> no. And and not a lot of not a lot of, not a lot of Gen Z use rollerblades. Bro, rollerblades they make. What kind of rollerblades are you? Because like I never, when I rollerblade, I don't never hear that. Zzz, rizz. No, it's like because it's like an eraser kind of. So like I don't know. Let me come on, speak, talk to me. Um, but this is this is Riz with one Z. Like when you stop and you make that zzz, and uh, people call that Riz. Like man, that was a good Riz. Um, Nobody says yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, I really girl. like it. Uh, it's not. It's not quite what it says. It's here. when you pull um, girls, bro. for charisma and charm. Charisma. Well, that's the two Z. <laughs> you had. You hadn't let me. He's trolling. You hadn't let me explain what two Z meant. Mm, so what about three Zs? I knew that. So you circumvented my answer. R I Z Z means charisma and charm. That guy has a lot of riz. Mm. Exactly. Talking about me? Um, who would you say from like all of your co-stars <laughs> has the most amount of He's going to say, oh, yeah, Paul Rudd has a lot of riz, I think. What about me? Uh, Steve, Steve, what about me? Steve. I, no, maybe the riz. I think, he, wait, he's going more into aura. I mean, I feel like Will, Will, Will Ferrell has a lot of aura. I more than riz. I mean, unless, hey, well, hey, Will might got it. He might got that thing on him. It's King. And I always call him the Riz King. He's gonna say <laughs> it's Ryan, Ryan Gosling. Gosling. Okay. Sometimes I just call him Riz Gosling. Of he course. is the epitome of Riz. Now, that's just what your does eight mean? mean? How do you spell it? Eight, eight like you. Um, a T E. Basically, oh. you slayed. Like basically, you. It's like a slay and eight is basically the same thing. You know what I mean? You ate that fit up. You ate that John. You know what I mean? You ate me up. Like eater. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, she ate like she ate me up like she an eater. <laughs> oh eight, not the not the the because the number eight would come after seven, right? Yes, um, and I think that applies even to to Gen Z. <laughs> I don't, I don't think the number system has changed. If I'm if I'm correct, right? No, it's not number so eight. So it's still Ooh. one through ten. Yes. That, that is that still applies for Gen Z. That's is he thing. trolling? Okay, he has to be trolling. Try, right? I don't know this one, but let me try to decipher it. He ate it, meaning like he accomplished it with, with great success. Like, like if someone won a tennis tournament and be oh, okay, I oh, mean my my brain is so in the gutter, bro. I t I thought he was talking about something else, bro. <laughs> on on God, I thought he was talking about something else, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like if this was a girl saying this, bro, I would have. <laughs> Come on, babe. I should have got up. Beat the best tennis player. Like, beat Roger Federer. Oh, man. He he ate that game. He ate Roger Federer. Yeah. Ate but, him up. Yeah. So my example is a bit more Gen Z. Did you see Taylor's outfits of the Eras tour? She ate it up, Bestie, and left no crumbs. Left ate no it crumbs left no crumbs. Well, I like the addendum of left no crumbs. It right. adds something. Yeah. So if I use the the example of you know the boomer version of Roger Federer, I beat Roger Federer. I ate that game up, and didn't leave a morsel for any other tennis player. Why is he using big words? To have anything else to eat. Perfect. What? So instead of the crumbs, I just said morsel. So I changed it a little bit. That's I a big ate word. it up and left nothing for the dog. How about that? <laughs> okay. It's absolutely perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't think I'd you do can it again. Really. What does tea or spill the tea mean? Oh, that's tea? drama. <laughs> drama! We love it. T E A. Actually, I think I might know this. You know it. Um, is that sort of the the lowdown on somebody? Like it's sort of like sort of the gossip about somebody, the the yeah. information you got it. You on got somebody. It. Give me the T. Is mm -hmm. that right? Absolutely correct. Okay. Correct. Yeah. And I believe down to the T when you 
you gossip when you sit down for a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. So that's when you gossip. So the tea, who made up these yeah, words, the bro? Spilled. That's what yeah. that's what's Again, getting me. I'm not bro. Gen Z, but I think that's right. I think that is right. It's also the sound that, like, when you're stopping on roller <laughs> skates, is that's your tea because you have to like for roller, <laughs> bro, roller skates. Stop bringing up roller skates, bro. I don't care, bro. We don't care, bro. Bring up Fortnite, bro. We love Fortnite, bro. So you have to put your feet in the shape of a T in order to stop. Trying not to crash out. And like, hey, man, you didn't T. And I'm like, I couldn't, I couldn't slow down because um, I didn't T. Very true. Very true. A lot right. of these are roller skates related. Yeah, a lot of them are interchangeable. A lot of them, <laughs> a lot I of them, a lot Steve of the Carl, things bro. I'm going to say today make no sense. What does simp mean? Simp? I think it's not a, uh, a derivation of simple. No, like that is it's uh, where a guy is madly in love with a girl that's not even in love with him. Bro. Man, a little bit, bro. Or he does something out of the ordinary just to get that girl's attention, bro. Like, oh, oh. like simp is like super basic, simple, basic, mm -hmm. simp. Yeah, I can see why you think that, but that's <clears throat> not actually right. Wait. So um, how? Oh no, no, no. Dare no. you? <laughs> He got it. Criticize my interpretation of that word. <laughs> that that person is such a simp, meaning that you got you know, it. Come on, that's the most basic version of thought. Yeah, so he's thinking like simp means simple means original. Like he's an original guy. No. Yeah, it does work. Um, so basically, it's uh, it's slang for someone, usually a guy who is overly submissive to someone who isn't re uh, reciprocating the same feelings. Yeah, oh, that's you. exactly what I just said. That's what I mean. No, really, Steve, you are on a whole different level he, with that it, dude. It's <laughs> dude, guy, you say? Yes. Who is sort of a like a, a B personality, as opposed to Beta? a Beta type, a little more submissive. Alpha. Than yeah, good at roller skates. Beta. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Oh. A, B, you know what I mean? I like that. Always bring it back to that. <laughs> what does flex mean? Flex? A flex is like showing, showing, showing your off. ability or strength. Real hard. So, like, like that's Stop a real flexing flex. on me, like, bro. Like, stop flexing all that stuff that you got. Like, stop showing off, bro. How did you get a check mark? What did, what did he say? Wow. That was a big undertaking for them. That was a big flex. And literally, it's, you know, it's, it's derived from... I know, I know everyone's excited to see that. Right. You know, these, these guns. You have guns absolutely don't work no more, that. buddy. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite surprised, but you did such a great job. Thanks. He didn't do too bad, bro. <laughs> I, I think it's because he more got, got a daughter, you know what I'm saying? His daughter more like kept him updated because like, without that daughter, he's cooked. He is cooked. <laughs> Cooked. You so Thanks. much, Steve. That was Appreciate so fun. It. Thank you. Barbecue baked chicken. I can't say my name is Brittany. Uh, I haven't even seen this movie, bro, but I need to see this movie, but I'm not. We're gonna just gonna just be like a whole like, nah, we're good on that.